<clears throat> Alright, welcome back to Office Taste. So today we're going to try another beer from Georgia. This is the Terrapin Rye Pale Ale. Mmm, beer. Alright, welcome back to Office Taste. So today we're going to try one from Athens, Georgia. This is Terrapin Brewery, um, the Rye Pale Ale. Comes in at, let's see what the little book says. I forgot to even, not the book, but the uh, the iPad, iPad here says 5.5% uh, and four, uh, 35 IBUs. Um, uses Magnum, Fugle, Fugle, that are East Kent Golden and Cascade, excuse me, hops and Amarillo. Uh, is, they dry hop it with the Amarillo. That's kind of cool. Malts, two row pale, Munich. Malted rye, victory malt, and honey malt. So cool. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and pop her open. Right. Oh, let's see the uh, the artwork. I don't know if you can see that. It's a little dark here. Gotta move things around a little bit. I'm grilling. Grill me some ribeyes. Um, yep. Let's go ahead and pop it open, shall we? All right. Oh, where the cap go? The cap's doing it. It's loose. It just didn't pop off. There you go. Ooh, good smoke coming out of there. Oh yeah, fire smells good. Can't wait to put those ribs on it, right? Yeah, I haven't even started put the ribs on yet. It's uh, just getting those coals ready. Let's go ahead and pour it. All right, whoop, a little splash there. All right, looking really good. Just a very off white head, about a finger or so. Looking nice head. Um, yeah, like a copper color, maybe slight honey color uh, beer there. Let's go ahead and uh, taste it, shall we? Or, <laughs> man, see, I'm thirsty. I want to go right to tasting it. Let's go ahead and smell it first. Ooh. Oh, yeah, you did get that little, uh, that rye smell to it. But you get a little citrus in there. You get like an orange, maybe some uh, orange peel. <sighs> Smells good. Ooh. All right, let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and taste it. Oh, very nice. Do get a slight little honey taste. I guess that's how it's honey malt. Uh, wow. Really, really nice. Really, really nice. Yeah, honey. You get, of course, an orange, um, like a citrus from the orange thing. Oh, sorry. Let me. My dog's getting in the fire. Hold on. All right. Sorry about that. My uh, my dog was getting in the fire, so I had to get them away and all that. So anyway, yeah. Very. Um, you get a, an orangey taste to it. Um, slight peppery taste. I guess that's the you know the rye taste. Um, very very good though. Wow, very smooth, very very nice, very very light mouth feel. Yeah, that that peppery that rye peppery taste and the orange. That's about all I get out of it. Let me try some more here. Uh, a slight honey taste. I think I already said that before, but a slight slight honey taste to it. Okay, about this time every day, the uh, the national anthem is played by Buster's Beer and Bait down there. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pause for a second and, and listen. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. Um, yeah, I, you know I'm just getting that real quick. I'm I'm a very I think a very patriotic person. Um, every time I hear that, it kind of chokes me up a little, a little bit inside. You know, a lot of people just say that and whatever. But, I'm, you know, my mother, I'm my mother, my grandfather was in World War II. My dad was in Vietnam. Um, you know, my, my stepdad was in the Navy. I was in the Air Force. My son, my oldest son is, was in the Army. He went to Af Afghanistan. Uh, I'm sorry, Iraq. I don't know why I said Afghanistan. Went to Iraq, uh, Baghdad. My uh, second son was in the Army. He was in Korea. Um, my youngest son is currently now in uh, in Germany, stationed there. My daughter is married to an Air Force in Alaska. So, um, yeah, very, very patriotic people. Um, I hear that, and it really makes me proud that the bar right down the street, every night they play it. So, very good. And I don't know if you heard at the very end, um, the whistling and stuff at the end. That, that to me, it gets me. So, anyway, also, we live in a uh, military town. I'm sure I've, you've, I've, I'm sure you've heard me say that before, Tyndall Air Force Base. Uh, we're about 10 miles that way, which we've got the F-22s flying, and uh, I used to work there. It was the last base I was at before I got out. 
that's why I'm here in Panama City, and that's why I stayed here. Um, got the Navy base. We have a Navy Navy base probably about one mile away from us, right down the road here. They, uh, they are the the base that trains all the uh, well for for hovercraft and uh, deep sea diving. You know, the ones with the big bell on and stuff, kind of like Kubi Gooding Jr. in uh, what movie was that in? He that he did that. Anyway, um, they they even uh, did a movie with. Uh, Demi Moore was in here when uh, G.I. Jane, she, uh, she, they filmed it right here. So anyway, military town, and uh, it always gets me choked up. So I'm very proud of the bar right down the street every single night I play this. So anyway, back to the beer. Sorry for my little military rant there. Um, yeah, great, great little beer. I mean, uh, five point up, what I said was 5.5. Um, nice and smooth, a nice, nice session drink if you ask me. Very, very nice, smooth, peppery, slight um, citrusy, uh, and a little bit of honey. So very, very nice. Good thing to sit around by the uh, the grill, listen to some uh, some patriotic music playing, and having a brew. Good thing. Cheers.